Hazard checklist. When we we use Hazard checklist in Project Life, the Hazard checklist use a list of the specific item to identify known type of hazards and potential of accident situation associated with the process equipment and operation. The checklist analysis techniques can be used in many states in engineering life cycle, such as construction phase, startup phase, routine operation, decommissioning phase, and demolition phase. The major idea that can allow using the checklist is on potential of hazard had already studied. The hidden accident is already minimized or limit. What is the benefit of the checklist? Proper use of the checklist will generally ensure the equipment or unit conform to acceptable standard. For example, benefit of checklist during construction and startup. It can be identified the early life situation, such as checklist for the hot work, checklist excavation, identified hazard from adjacent unit, such as checklist for confined space entering, Identify hazard associated from the activity. Benefit of the checklist during routine operation. Identify the employee hazard associates. Identify the way to observe equipment condition, such as checklist for the pump, checklist for the compressor startup. Benefit of the checklist during decommissioning. For example, identify how demolition work might affect a chicken unit. Identify the potential of the resident hazard material inside before decommissioning. Limitation of the checklist. Since the checklist analysis uses a written list of the item or procedure step to verify the status of the system, so the checklist analysis method is the experience-based technique. The quality of the checklist depends upon on the developer or his experience, and the checklist analysis can consider only the general type of the accident that can occur in the process or activity, such as the leak, vibration, defecting. It cannot consider the accident outcome from the more complicated situation or process. Checklist workflow to develop the and perform the the checklist. The following step will be performed. First one, define the purpose and scope. For example, checklist for operator routine inspection, checklist for the pump startup. Second, select or develop a checklist. The developer shall review the hazard associated with the operation or activity and develop dedicated checklist for specific activity. For example. The developer may check what the hazard association about the pump operation before creating the checklist of the pump startup. He can may review from the pump operation manual and look in the troubleshooting or look into the caution before making the checklist. The third one, perform the checklist analysis by familiarly experienced or inexperienced personnel. Because that is the major benefit of the checklist. The inexperienced personnel can do the checklist with the process by having them compare a process attribute to various checklist requirement. The fourth, last one, list of the checklist and collect the recommendation and improve a checklist. For example, checklist. Checklist during hazard identification for a new process design. General question: Is the material fresh point below the ambient temperature? Is the material shock sensitive? Does the material polymerize? Does the material react with the water? Is the material toxic? Is inhaled? Does the process operate above? Material auto ignition temperature is the vapor space of any vessel in the flammable range. Checklist for the working with the extreme temperature condition. What is the maximum heat and temperature? What is the sort of heat? Potential of the very cold surface burn. 
potential of the increased gas pressure caused by heat. Checklist for the working with the machine. There are so many checklist type because the checklist will prepare for specific work. Thank you for watching my video. If you like this video, please put like it. See you next video. Bye.